there are three primary nerves when we talk about sensation in the hand. So one of them is called your median nerve, and that is going to give you sensation in your thumb, index finger, long finger, and half of your ring finger. Uh, the second nerve is called your ulnar nerve, which we colloquially call your funny bone. Uh, it runs right behind that area at your elbow. That's going to give you the sensation to your small finger and a part of your ring finger. And then your radial nerve uh, does the sensation on most of the back of your hand. There are a couple different places where the ulnar nerve can be compressed. Almost all of the time it's at the elbow. So between the point of your elbow and the uh, bump on the inside, that ulnar nerve runs there in a tunnel that is called the cubital tunnel. A compression on the nerve initially is going to be felt by the patient as numbness usually. So it frequently will start off as intermittent numbness. In the case of cubital tunnel, that intermittent numbness tends to occur when the elbow is in a flexed position. So a lot of people as their initial presenting symptom will be numbness at night from sleeping with their elbow in a bent position or uh, numbness in uh, the ring and small finger when they talk on a phone. The procedure for cubital tunnel uh, at its simplest involves just taking the pressure off of the nerve. All of the different ways that have been described for taking the pressure off of the nerve seem to work about the same. In that instance, my general approach is I'm going to do the one that's least invasive. Uh, so that is something we call an ulnar nerve decompression. So that's an incision uh, about that big. That's what we start with. Go in and we just merely open the tunnel and remove the pressure off of the nerve. Now there are some people after you open that tunnel up when you bend their elbow, so this would be still while they're asleep during the procedure, their nerve is unstable. It's kind of moving around too much. In that instance, then what we need to do is what's called an ulnar nerve transposition. And that's actually to take the nerve and move it up in front of the bony bump. Some people need to do therapy after uh, one of these procedures. There are a lot of people that actually don't need to do any therapy. I think the likelihood that you need to do therapy is a, a little bit higher if you're doing a transposition. I encourage people, if, if they're having problems with numbness and tingling, it's something to get evaluated. It may be that it's going to get better on its own. It may be that you can manage the symptoms for a long period of time without needing surgery. But the, the risks associated with leaving a compression on that nerve in terms of long-term function of your hand is, is very high.